It pains when I think about it, so I don't want to talk about it. I never knew I would go to Napoli for prostitution. I was 15 the first time, and I was so devastated. I was so hot that first time. But I don't have any choice by obeying the command. They are preferring young people, young girls, who they are brave, they stand. They are looking good. And that is the kind of people they need in you. My madam is in Italy. If I did not pay my madam, the juju will, will kill me. I, I just resumed work two, two months back. I was not there. I was not there before. We can spend a lot of money, billions of dollars every year, but I don't think we are going to make any headway until we start criminalizing the purchase of sex. Traffic is my major business, although I, other, I have other business, which is uh, farming. It's uh, 2002. I took people from Nigeria to Libya, through sea and uh, through Europe. Ever since I started the business, a lot of contacts have been calling me from Europe, both uh, Italy, Spain, Holland. They call me, say, am I speaking with Tony? I say, yes. Say, someone gave me your number that you were the one that trafficked his sister, brother to Italy. I say, yes. Say, what do you want? He say, I have somebody in Nigeria. Please help me to bring them. My name is Bella. I'm from Nigeria. I'm 20 years old. I don't have parents. I live with my grandma. So, I look for work, there's no work. I've learned stylist, hairdresser, there's no money here. So I want to travel. I have my bag there, so I'm ready to travel. So I can make money to take care of my grandma. I went to Libya before. I came back December. I'm traveling back today to Libya. So I'm traveling back today because there is no job, nothing, nothing in this place, in this country. So I want to go back. I'd rather die there. It's better for me to die there and die here. It's better for me to go. All the female I have taken through the desert to Europe. 25 years down to 18 years. And these are the people they love in Europe, these young guys. If you are old, nobody will like you, nobody will like to come and pick you to their house to make love with you. They, they prefer young people, young guys, who they are brave, they stand, they are looking good. And that is the kind of people they need in Europe.
Even the one you are interviewed today, they are just 20 something years. I ask them, say 22, I say, okay, no problem. Are you sure? Say yes. And if you look at them, they are still very young. 17 years, I cannot cut take you. It's a crime. It's against the law. I don't have the measurement to detect your age. You are mature and you are still looking young. The, the mandant said, bring it for me. I need her. I said, okay. I came here with my madame the first day and um, we walked down the road and she told me I can stay here, I can walk from the beginning of the street down to that place. It's, it's a very good place to start with, at least. The police doesn't disturb much here. And the car stops here, that's the garden I take them to. Just this place. I'm not very comfortable. I'm shivering. It's not, it's not a good experience. I really don't wish to go to go back to it. Benin Cityssä kaikki tietävät kuka on Madame. Hän on Euroopassa toimiva parittaja joka tilaa naisia Nigeriasta Eurooppaan. Madame maksaa salakuljettajille, jotka tuovat tytöt Saharan ja Välimeren halki pohjoiseen. Euroopassa Madame kahlitsee naiset ihmiskauppaan rahallisella velalla, väkivallalla ja Nigeriassa suoritettavalla voodoo-kirouksella. My madame is in Italy. If I did not pay my madame, The juju will kill me, except I pay, I pay her the money. So when I pay her, I'm free. If I did not pay her, the juju started following me everywhere I go. So the thing will cause madness. It will cause madness. It's real. It's real. Blessing. Blessing. Uh, you want to leave this country? You want to travel, go abroad? Yes. Because of there is no improvement in our country. Yes. And uh, you want to go there to serve your mother? Yes. When you serve your mother, you make money, failingly to pay the money, all the assessors. It will worry you and will deal with you. Make sure you pay your madam. So all the juju and the assessors that here is looking at you. Try to pay. The Libya road is very dangerous. Many people in the Sahara Desert, many people died. It's because of hungry, tasting, stress. Maybe they don't have money to eat. They don't have water. Some of them will drink their urine. Even me, I drink my urine. So that is how they died, many people. And the road is very bad. (laughs) 
when I get to Europe, I'm going to pay my madam. He said it's prostitute. Yes, it's prostitution. I agree. Sometimes uh, when you go there, they come with a knife that they don't, they don't have money to pay you and you have to make love to them. And sometimes you meet the ones who doesn't want to make love with condom and they have to go with a knife. So you have to make love to them without, without a condom. It's so dangerous. There are lots of dangerous lines, a whole lot of dangerous lines, really. when I think about it, so I don't want to talk about it. When I went to it, I 2014, February 28th. I stayed two years and eight months because she told me I'm going to help her in the domestic work. She didn't tell me it's that work. When I get there, she, then I ask her, where is the business you, you say you, I want to be doing? She said, I see other girls the, the way they do, so that is the same business me I want to do. Me, I told her, but this is not the type of business you told me. So she was shouting at me, like, beating me up. So I don't have any other choice than to do it. That is it. as a result of me telling her I will not do it. So she injured me in the process. So they forced you? Yes. Those men, some take me to the house, some inside the car. The men, they were paying me if I go to them with their, in their house, they pay me 100 euro. So if I do it with them inside the car, some 50, some 30, some 40, some 20. I was not happy giving her. Because even if I'm under my mazes, if I'm under my period, I can still go to look for money so I can pay her. So it was not easy. One of the stories I, I can remember, two, two guys came to me, so we went inside the car. So one was like making love with me, he come. The other one did, didn't come. Then he was like dragging with me. I told him, ah, why are you dragging with me? Is it not my, it's not my fault that you didn't come. He said inside the process, I should give back his money to him. I said, I can't give you back your money. He said, if, if I did give him back my money, he would kill me. So I have to give him his money. So they was like fighting with me, the both of them. So I managed to escape and I, I ran. So that's it. Nigeriassa elää huimat yli 200 miljoonaa ihmistä, pienessä Edon maakunnassa alle 10 miljoonaa. Edolla on vahva oma kulttuuri, sieltä johdettiin muinaista Beninin kuningaskuntaa. Sen perinteinen kuningas Oba nautti edelleen suurta arvostusta. Sitä kuningas on käyttänyt ihmiskaupan vastaiseen taisteluun langettamalla kirouksen ihmiskaupassa mukana oleville puudupapeille. Mutta ihmiskauppa on silti juurtunut alueelle. 
Edolla on siirtomaajan alusta lähtien ollut yhteyksiä Eurooppaan. And um, the women over the years have learned to take care of themselves and their children. So every woman in a husband's house fends for herself and for her children. And the women are the breadwinners. In a do state, the women are very productive in trade, in commerce. Many of them travel to Italy, especially, to buy leather works. List material, so they buy these fabrics and they come back home to sell. Nigerian talous romahti 1980-luvulla ja kaupan käynti tyrehtyi. Monet edon naisista jäivät Italiaan tomaattiviljelmille. Then the opportunities in Europe also started to decline. Other migrant workers coming from Eastern Europe, so jobs were taken. The opportunities became smaller. And so some of them resorted to prostitution and then suddenly realized that prostitution was a big business. They started from their immediate families to recruit, you know, and then take them there and put them in prostitution. So that circle started from the first generation of victims became madams. And they were all coming back home, flaunting these wealth. And people around saw that they were doing well. And families wanted their children to be like that because they saw it as a way out of poverty. Everyone wanted to go. That was when the craze started. Starting from this this school here, we sometimes I stay here from this this school, and I walk it down the road. I lived in Bini with my family. I'm from a polygamous home, so we went and took the oath. I agreed that when I come here, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make money through a saloon shop, which. Um, I thought there's a saloon store here, just like it is in Nigeria. When I got to Sicily, and I called my mom. I told my mom, Mommy, I'm not going to go to the woman's place that I heard when you come here, you start prostituting instead of working, and there's no shop for me. But what happened was the madam that brought me here started threatening my mom. And she told me they, they called today, they threatened her that they're going to kill her to get me back. I need to pay the money that I use in coming, 30,000 euro. November 10, I got some message that my mom died that night. So it was obvious that it was because of me, the kid that... I was so scared. There's no family, there's no friend, just me alone. The husband came and started beating me. I, I have to go to work that same day. I had no choice. What killed my mom? I don't want it to kill me too. That night, I started working in Alessandra. Get 
people that slave trade is there. They do slave, slave trade there. So different uh, trawler, the smugglers, come there to buy um, black. Uh, they sold her the same way they sold me in that same place. That she was taken to a um, to a, a condition house. Here yeah, she was. There was she was told to do prostitution. I was going to Europe to land. I was kidnapped, so I was sold to an Arab man in uh, Saba in Libya. I was kept in a cage. Nancy and Emma saw that Kohtalo Tovereita. Molemmat ovat selvinneet hengissä Libyan orjan markkinoilta. Noin viisi tuhatta nigerialaista on lennätetty kotiin Libyasta. Libyan orjamarkkinoilla Eimos myytiin neljä kertaa pakkotyöhön eri leireille. Many people were having ulcers, some were having stomach pains. Many people were some were dying in my presence. I even took food from someone that was that, that was dead. I took from his mouth because he was dead. I have to eat the food. Libyalaisten liigojen suurin tulonlähde on kiristys. Kidutuksen avulla libyalaiset liigat kiristävät rahaa omaisilta. They will ask you of your number, the number of your parents in Nigeria. If you are from Ghana, they will ask you the number. They have enough card, they will just dial it. As the number is swinging, they will take the electric truck and put it in your anus. You will be shouting, as you will be sh your, the thing will be shocking your body. As you are talking, they will be hearing it. So you will be shouting. Then your parents will be listening to your voice. And when you ask them, who is on the line talking? Then you will be the one saying, Mommy, it's me. Emosi aamuttiin käsi varten, kun hän pakeni sellistään tapaamaan YK henkilökuntaa. So these are the bruises. How did you get them? I was tossed by with iron. I have this bruise over my body every year. My back. Can see it. So, the boys is still my body. Okay. So, the 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 Even the day of my birth, they are inside prison. So, I don't forget that. Lähdemme Nansin kotikylään tapaamaan äitiä ja isää. Teemme matkaa Nigerian suistoalueella, josta suuri osa ihmiskaupan uhreiksi joutumista naisista tulee. Myös miehet pakenevat pikkukylien köyhyyttä, vaikka Nigerian suisto on yksi maailman tärkeimmistä öljyn tuotantoalueista. Mustaa kultaa on pumpattu 1950-luvulta lähtien. Öljyrikkaudet ovat vuosikymmenien ajan valuneet kansainvälisten öljyjättien ja korruptoituneiden poliitikoiden taskuihin. Rikkauksista huolimatta alue on yksi maailman köyhimmistä. No, there's one thing about governor or uh, the president. They want to see how some people they suffer. Because there are some people who live in the rural area. So they are suffering. Even the school will go like very far. And we don't have a hospital. We don't have chemists. And so we don't have light. Nigerian 
so that is, so we need help if government can help us. No work, nothing, nothing. You know the person manage to go to work, maybe at the end of the day you get small money and that money not going to feed. Uh-huh. Now I make some of them, when they get the opportunity, now I make some of them go. Like all these tiba, we use hand pulling to pull them. They, 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 if you look at the joint, we we'll go, we we'll go that place around seven o'clock in the morning. We we'll turn back eight thirty in the evening. The sofa before you get it here is very hard. Like, we'll like if they send you boat, a uh, flying boat, we can just go there. Maybe for two two hours we don't come back. But suppose we are using hand, it take us about six hours or sometimes twelve hours. Here. And like those people that travel, because there's no job. I don't tell everybody can walk in the river. I'm not going to people die anyhow. There's a woman that travel, when one or two of she children travel, they lost it. They cry, cry, forget. There's nobody you get to ask, say, how far, how far. No, sometimes the mother will just sit down and cry, cry, and see the pet, and say, one day, one day, will come. But whether it's your life now, we don't even know. So we can't tell. <laughs> Nancy on valehdellut meille. Nancy ei ole ollut yhteydessä vanhempiinsa. Hän karkasi kotoaan noin viisi vuotta sitten. Äiti uskoi tyttären kuolleen jo ajat sitten. Long time, many years. I not see my piki again. I'm happy to see him. Because me no know where he from come out now. I don't know where he go. I beg, you can help me. Well, I feel so good. I feel so good. All I thought she's dead. All of a sudden, she left out because of uh, hardship. In my house now, no light, nothing. A cup of rice here, you know how much it is. A cup of beef, you know how much it is. Even all these uh, thick tomatoes, you can't afford to buy it. What do, what do we do? We go to bush and cut leaves. Leaves and ground there, we we'll use it for soup. That is how we live here. Now I'm, I'm feeling good, I'm happy. Because I see my parents long time. I not talk, I not call them, I not talk to them for they don't see me. Were, were you afraid to call them, you know? Because I don't achieve anything. What he carry me come off us, I wish they nothing. So I don't feel come here and see I'm dead. I wish most of my I come, I achieve something, I get store. No, no, my if I guess if I they work, I feel they bring something out from there. I say, mommy, see, take this one at least. I want to ask a question. I 
Has anybody ever heard of the word human trafficking? Yes. Human trafficking is the illegal trade of human beings from one place to another. We are from media campaign against human trafficking. You capture them early is better than, you know, telling the adults. Because most of these children that are trafficked are young ones of school age. Not even the dropouts. Some of them who have finished secondary school are trafficked because they believe that everything outside this country, particularly in Europe, is rosy. Everything is fine. There is enjoyment everywhere. Whereas, they wouldn't know exactly that. When you are not certificated and you leave the shores where you grew up, you don't even know exactly where you are going to. The European countries are certificated. They encourage education. But in Nigeria, education is not encouraged. There is no education in Nigeria. I must be sincere. What we are doing is just, you know, Abracadabra. Adding one plus one to make two. And nobody is really assisting. Statistics has shown that majority of our young boys and girls that are being trafficked, they are from Edo State. Is that true of us? No. Is that true? No. And like the fact that you are not being was biased, we are all from Edo State. Even the very rich men. I don't want to call them politicians, but most of them politicians are the causes of this human trafficking. They use us, use these youths, and dump them. All monies they make, they wouldn't bother to say, let me establish companies, farms, and other things in their areas for employment of the youths. Rather, they slash this money in their soccer wells. Yeah. Yeah. They watch the film. The one we are showing to you today is titled Desperate Journey. You watch, listen, and take home the message they are giving to you. We will go to the streets, speak with the girl, give them the address, we share condoms to them. And when the girls started knowing us, we now talk about Act 18, that if you want to leave prostitution work, the government of Italy can offer you a shelter accommodation, pay school fees for you to go back to school, and you can regain back your life. 
as a good girl that you were. Because most of the victims, they did not know what they are coming to do. Though a lot of people argue that they knew, they did not know. Like me, I didn't know. So they are victims. So that is how the program started. Princess tietää, mistä puhuu. Parikymmentä vuotta sitten hän oli ihmiskaupan uhrina pakkoprostituutiossa Pohjois-Italiassa. Silloin hän tapasi aviomiehensä Alberton, jonka kanssa he perustivat ihmiskaupan uhrien tukijärjestön. We started to work for supporting the victims of trafficking in the year 2000. And now we have a lot of girls in, in our shelter. The number of the minors is increasing in the last two, three years. We meet girls in the streets, 16, 17, 18, sometimes 15. I was 15 the first time, and I was so devastated. I was so hot that first time. But I don't have any choice by obeying the command. But I never knew I would go to Napoli for prostitution. She, was, she said that if I come out, if I come out from, from my camp, then he will look for a job for me. Then we direct me to my lawyer, process my documents. Oh, that is how she said I should leave to the camp. We can, we can speak about prostitution, but really it's slavery. Mm-hmm. Because it's not voluntary yeah. sex work, but it's forced prostitution is slavery. The girl work normally from five euro to 20 each customer and cannot uh, decide the place and the time where they work, cannot refuse. And if they don't carry money every day to the madame in the house, the, the madame, they beat the girl and they treat the family in Nigeria. Sometimes I go, I go for money, sometimes afternoon, sometimes evening. If you go around Italy, all the main town, the, the area of prostitution is de facto inside in the suburbia of the town. Because during the day, this place is full of camion, bus, uh, but in the night, de facto inside is closed. Dangerous place, dark, uh, with few people, and, and robbery is too much. Two, three, four years ago, Uh, there was uh, even uh, a local serial killer that uh, they kill uh, eight or nine uh, sex workers. Many of them was Nigerian. One night, I stand on the streets. Then there's a car pass by. The car inside the car, there were so many boys, so many young young boys. So they splash butt on me. That's why I, I injured them. Went to hospital. They took me to Piamolos. <laughs> so is it like uh, she saved you from the street? Yes, yes, yes. 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 many of us. Yes. God will continue bless. <laughs> 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 Benin Cityssä elää myös paljon Euroopasta käännytettyjä ihmiskaupan uhreja. Grace on yksi heistä. Suomi käännytti hänet ja hänen kaksi lastaan Nigeriaan noin vuosi sitten. You see when they feel the drip for two of them body. One, one, one. See? Look at everything. This is the girl. The girl that gave back to Philon. Philon deport me and my two kids with 100 euro. They don't give out anything. I don't have anything on me. It's only me, the children. Grace pelkää entisiä parittajiaan, jotka veivät hänet Eurooppaan pakkoprostituutioon. He etsivät häntä Benin Citystä ja vaativat rahaa. This is what happened to my mother. I am danger. Grace näyttää äitinsä kuolin todistuksen, 
Äiti on kuollut kovasta iskusta päähän kotikylässään Benin sitin ulkopuolella. When my mother started to escape, then I hit something. My mother, father, my younger brother escaped. And he don't know who is these people. But for my mind, I know it's these people that after we, because of the problem I have. That is why I am running. I don't want anything to happen to me because of my children. My name is Comrade Kodua Solomon, the Senior Special Assistant to the Governor of Federal State on Anti-Human Trafficking and Irregular Migration. Well, I spent three days on top of the high sea while trying to locate the, the Lapados of Aziz. We could find it, then they float, they were both drifted for three days and uh, finally we were floated down back to the southern part of uh, Libya called Mustrata. After that, I said no. Thank God that I came back alive. Most of them are the same All what you have said is that most of them are the same Now, Mama, Papa, where were the candy and the cheese and the photo rolls? They go, you go find for me. The things are well paid too much. Our children, they die for us. They will die for you. And the time for And even when they reach that side, now I shall not walk and they do. I take away, I take away. Edon maakunta on perustanut ihmiskaupan vastaisen iskuryhmän. Siihen kuuluvat tärkeimmät viranomaiset ja kansalaisjärjestöt. Ogodua Solomon johtaa iskuryhmää. So today we are using the men and officers of the Nigeria Immigration Service and State Command, the anti-human trafficking uh, squad, the calling it a special strike force. We are, going to use, we are going to use today. They are part of our task force, our, part of our team. They are very dedicated and commit, uh, committed to this job. Edellisenä päivänä nuori nainen on palannut Venäjältä. Hänen ystävänsä jäi Venäjälle ruumisarkkuun, ilmeisesti parittajien murhaamana. Molemmille luvattiin työpaikat Moskovasta, mutta perillä odottikin pakkoprostituutio. I made this mama angel. So now ask me what kind of work I'm doing. And to others, I'm a nurse. So now tell me that there's work in Russia there, so I can go. If I go to Russia, so I will find a work there, working to change my life. So that's okay, I agree. They know that it's a prostitute. I want to go and do it there. 
when I get there, so I don't have shoes, so I'm not doing the prostitution. Let me just read a piece of the petition to you, so that you will know the basis why we are acting on this information. All right, this is a petition. This is a petition. I signed it yesterday. It's a, uh, a petition against Mama and Papa and the native daughter for a case of murder, trafficking, and sexual exploitation. That is the case. Naiset sala kuljetettiin viime kesänä jalkapallon maailmanmestaruuskisojen kisapassien avulla. 24 years from Isaac of West local government area of Edustin, who was murdered by Ruth and his wife after aborting her baby. Now we heard from her last on the first of day of September 2018 when she complained bitterly about her being forced into prostitution by Madame and her husband, who threatened to kill her if she doesn't comply. They went to Russia with a pregnancy. Got to Russia, the Madame said she must abort that pregnancy. So the other one survived, and this one died. We are set for the operation right now. We are going to the woman's shore. We are going to pick anybody that's working with the woman in that place that will take us to the room where this woman is currently hiding now. She doesn't stay in her house, but there's somebody that knows where she's hiding. The barber shop, the hairdressing salon, and the supermarket belongs to the madam. These are the proceeds of exploitation. Picked about five of them right now. These five of them are not play active role in this uh, trafficking, but they have an idea of what transpired before, before the before the, the girl was trapped. Okay, you lucky, you lucky. I, I just resumed work two, two months back. Two I was months. not, yes, I was not there before. You are working for somebody for two, two months? Two months, yes. You don't know his house? I, I, don't, I don't know, all, all my own is, you don't know I will come in the morning. Is it your uncle, your relation? No, Tell no, me. no, 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 no. Don't, no, get, it. don't no. get me pissed off. No. No, eh? no. What part of Isha is he from? Ma, I don't. It's, uh, she's, 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 my, it's Madame is the is the one that that mostly on. Is the one is Madame travel. You that is why. Well, my friend, who are you talking to? You think you can come here and be talking wrong, telling lies? Between you and him, who is closer to the man and the woman? Between both of you, is closer. I said, who is closer? It, it has been his wife. That both of us. It's the wife we need, now your boss. The wife is your boss. So, is she not your boss? Uh, so, uh, so tell us about your know, boss. When last did you see? I saw I, I saw her last two weeks Saturday. Two weeks Saturday? Saturday, yeah. Two Saturdays back. Two weeks Saturday. Two weeks Saturday. Then, hold him like that and take him to the cell. For now, they said he tra she traveled. So the husband will come and he will tell us better of what where the wife has gone to. Yes, he's in Benin City. Everybody can be a can be a customer, and uh, 
But the people are going to see it. They take the car, maybe they greet the wife, and they go, oh, I go to play in the bar or look at a football match in the house of my friends. Then before go back to the house, they take 30 minutes more, and uh, they go by car, they stop. They make sex, five minutes, three minutes, it's no more than that. They pay, and then after they go back. And some girl can have maybe more than 20 customers a night. In most European states, prostitution is legal. So when you legalize prostitution, then you make it attractive. We need to criminalize the purchase of sex. We need to put men on the hot spot. If the crime should be as serious as that of or someone who used drug. If it's that grave, I think we, sh we should start having a lot of progress in fighting the crime. We can spend a lot of money, billions of dollars every year, but I don't think we are going to make any headway until we start criminalizing the purchase of sex. One day, they beat me up mercilessly. I could not bear it. I left the house. They advised me to call the police that if I don't call the police, the woman would end up killing me and nobody would know about it. So I picked up my phone and I called the police and the police came. They arrested the madam and I was brand. Beauty sai paikan Piamon Luz järjestön turvatalosta, jossa hän on asunut vajaan vuoden. The little I get from Piamunus, the little I get here, I can send back home and they are living a little bit better than the way they were living. I'm happy, I'm feeling better than I, I used to be. That's it. Okay. Can we go now? Yeah, let's get out of here. All right. This is an organized business. They all will get to Agadez, we call from there to Duruku, we say our connection, Ali. Ali is there to receive us. From there, we take, take to Libya. We see our people there to receive us in Libya. The crossing from the Libya, that is where my business ended. I don't go to water. Then when you get to Italy, you call me, I say, Amdullah, thank God. Then I take my ticket, come back to Nigeria. Uh, my business is over. I just make a sacrifice to the gods so that when I get to Europe, they will give me money, I will see money, so that I will pay my mother that carry me. That is the sacrifice I just made to the gods. I need to support them, to support my family. They cannot just be making farm in the village. They cannot just stay in there and die there in the village. I don't have anything. I don't have any support. I don't have anybody around me. I feel sad.